duo in the NBA? No, individually, they might be the two best players. So if you look at all the duos individually, but I think the best duo is going to be Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. Because What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. To our regular viewers, thank you for the support. To our new viewers, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. So Stephen Smith and Shannon Sharp debated who will be the best duo in the NBA next season. Stephen A argues that Yanis and Damian Lillard will be the best. However, Shannon Sharp counters with the speak of Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. I don't disagree. The Bucks acquiring Lillard could be the biggest surprise this year. The chemistry is already starting well as both players, Yanis and Lillard, have expressed the excitement of them teaming up next season. Shannon Sharp focuses on Jokic and Murray's experiences together. They've played longer. Jamal Murray was injured and came back. They both excel with their pick and roll three-point shots, movement, ball handling, and free throws. And also the fact that the Denver Nuggets easily won the finals against the Miami Heat shows how strong they are. Stephen A, on the other hand, argues that Bucks forward Yanis' all-round greatness will be fathered by Lillard's movement, three-point ability, and also his ability to close games. Yanis, as we all know, can play both sides, with his offense and defense consistently being great in almost any game. Like last season, he averaged 31.1 points, 5.7 assists and 11.8 rebounds, all of which highlights his defensive and offensive prowess. Not only that, but his close range and mid range threat will open up Lillard's three point threat. So that's the debate. Personally, I'll go with Jokic and Jamal Murray, simply because they've played longer together, so they already have some momentum. What's your take on this? Please drop a comment. And so that we're all on the same page, let's listen to Stephen Smith and Shannon Sharp debate. Will Dame and Giannis be the best duo in the NBA? No. Individually, they might be the two best players. So if you look at all the duos individually, but I think the best duo is going to be Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic because I saw them on display, and they have they played together. And Jamal Murray is going to be another year removed from that ACL surgery. And we saw what he did in the playoffs last year, 26, 7, and 6. Nikola Jokic, 30, 13, and 9. That is the best duo. They can put you in pick and roll. Both can shoot the threes. Both guys can put the ball on the floor. Both guys can make free throws when you foul them. I think that's going to be the best duo because Jamal Murray is only getting better and better. We thought the bubble, Stephen A., was, a, was, a, was a, uh, an aberration. No, he's showing you. He's that dude. He legit. Mm -hmm. You know what, Shannon? As I listen to you talk about basketball, I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud. I got to get proud. I got to get proud for this dude, man. I'm very, very proud. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a damn good point. And, and I love me. I, you can't find a bigger fan of Jamal Murray than me, not just as a player but a person. I really root for him. He's a real good dude, and I think he's a spectacular player who shows up in big moments. Here's why I would tell you respectfully, however, that you are wrong. It's okay. going to be Dane and Giannis because of the locomotive that Giannis is on a night-in, night-out basis on both ends of the floor. See, we think about Jokic. We see his passing ability. We see his shot-making ability. As unorthodox as he is, he's just incredibly unstoppable. It's unbelievable to watch. The flip side, however, is that defensively, at times, he is a liability. He is not mm -hmm. as formidable as Giannis is. No. When I think about Giannis and what Giannis brings to the table on both ends of the floor, the locomotive that he is on the offensive side of the ball, the fact that he's got somebody like a, a Damian Lillard, who would we, we would be calling the best point guard in the league if it were not for the existence of Steph Curry, who we, we would be looking at. I mean, you can make a legitimate argument when it comes to actually closing. He is just as lethal as Steph Curry. Yeah. And so when I look at it from that perspective, the combination of that working together, I'm looking at Tatum and Jalen Brown. I'm looking at your boy LeBron with AD. I'm looking at, at KD and Devin Booker. Bo I'm looking at all of that. I'm looking at all of that. But I got to tell you right now, Damian with Giannis, mm, I can't go against that. What do you think about this? Please drop a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you.